First off, I was called here to talk about CPAA, and a lot of people wonder, what is CPAA? So it's Crop Pollination Association of Australia. We represent all pollination areas throughout Australia. So we're mainly mainland Australia because Tasmania does already have a good pollination program going. We are a member body of ARBIC. Uh, other than that, we're a standalone. So in other words, we wish to be national. We do now have a representative or a, an executive member here in Victoria who is Matt Peterson, and I really welcome him on board. Um, the CPA was originally started here in Victoria in about 1991. So it's been going for a long time. It's just been dormant. So you say, what's happened? What's different? The difference is for our. Everyone sort of thinks, hey, pollination's going to be the silver bullet, the saviour. We've got low honey prices. We're going to go and see these skyrocketing prices for pollination. Hold on, let's have a check here. We've had varroa in New South Wales down for two years. Have we seen any prices go up? No. We cannot rely on those people to turn around and support our industry while the honey prices are going down. So this could be two things. First off, those people think that we're dependent on them. Well, really? they've got to take a stock check on that as well. We've got to work together. That's what it is. It's not say, hey, and I heard yesterday a comment, the Almond Board doesn't need to support us. Yes, they need to pay us properly and give us good contracts. But it's got to be what the business or what the actual area can contain or um, support. We can't go in and say, hey, give us $400 a hive just because we haven't got good honey prices. My, personally, myself, I do a lot of berry pollination up on the north coast, uh, and I'm in the same boat. I can't go to the berry pollination because honey prices are down and say, hey, I want a lot more money. So how do we get around this? Well, it's called working together. As far as I'm concerned, this is where CPAA comes in. We talk to all these pollinating bodies or pollinating dependent bodies and say, hey, listen, yeah, we're two years into pollination, uh, sorry, two years into Broa. We're really not seeing colony collapse yet. We're not really seeing a lot of things. We're seeing honey prices drop. And when are we going to see them go up? We don't know. We haven't got a crystal ball. We've got a team working on trying to um, get that all sorted out on imports and things like that. That's a start. But on the pollination side, we need to sit down and start talking to these bodies that are pollination dependent and say, hey, listen, when the bees disappear, when the feral bees disappear, that's when you are going to feel it. And until they feel it, they will not recognise us. When you say recognise us, how many of you have been in pollination and been sprayed? You know, these are areas that we want to fight against. CPAA want to fight against spraying. They've got to look after our livestock. The thing is, hey, why do we want to go and put a hive in for $50 when we've just heard honey flows? You know, we've got to be competent to those industries and say, yes, this year there's no honey flow, so maybe there's a supply and demand. So this year, pollination might be a bit cheaper because there's an oversupply of hives. But now we've got varroa. We're going to do a treatment. Coming back onto that, what is the known factor? We still do not know how we're going to treat Varroa. And you sort of go, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So here in the room, Victorian beekeepers, how many of you um, are going to almonds this year? Okay. How many of you is actually, well, sorry, how many times after you come back, or how long after you come back, are you going to do a surveillance? A week? Two weeks? Three weeks? The thing is, we don't know what we're up against when we come back. It's up to you. Right? I take it for me, 
I believe what I've seen over the last two days, well, here's another question for you. Out of all you Victorian beekeepers, who thinks they're ready for bra? I've got two hands. If I'd seen much more than that, I would have told you you were tripping. Because I thought I was ready. I've been getting ready for Varroa for six years. And I can tell you now, I'm shitting myself. Because when it hits me with the size I am, it's going to cost me big time. I can also say this, I know of 20 beekeeping industries or businesses in New South Wales that are hanging by the skin of their teeth at the moment. And what are they waiting on? the almond check. We've just seen a great presentation on business building and things like that. That's what people have got to do. You're going to make sure your business is resilient, ready and prepped. So when I say, um, are you ready? I'll tell you what, be ready for change. That's what you've got to look forward to. At the end of the day, this, this little might is a, a really, really big learning curve. And not only that, when we turn around and get viruses, that's another learning curve. When are we going to see the true effects? It could be two years, it could be three years. We don't know. So dealing with that unknown is most probably going to be the hardest thing. So coming back once again, CPAA. We hope to be able to represent you on water crossings. We've seen here with um, earlier on, we had problems with COVID. We had massive issues with that. We've already had to deal with that as well as um, state governments. Um, we've now got Vroa having problems getting that all sorted. Um, we still haven't crossed everything. Chemicals, as I say, chemical companies have got to listen to us. And it's not just insecticides, it's, my, it's um, fungicides, all those other things, glyphosate. We heard yesterday about um, MRLs and all this sort of thing. You know, what's going to be a true organic or true raw honey? Most of it's going to have chemicals in it. You know, when we do varroa mite treatments, these are all areas that you've got to be ready for. Are they going to cost us more? So I'm not going to go much more on that. But CPAA, I'd love to get more members. We've got about 100 strong. We are starting to run conferences. We've got a Victorian representative now, which is great. Um, my phone, look me up. Just don't look at the website yet. It's going to be going through a bit of changes. But hey, I'm always there and I'll represent anything that's pollination. I don't represent honey, but anything pollination, I'll be there for you.